Hi there, this is California Jack and welcome to the Pitbull Bible Online APBT Database. I am the author of the Pitbull Bible, the single most comprehensive book ever written in the history of the breed, really, and you can find that book here. It's over 400 pages of how to raise, groom, condition, win with, and breed the sporting American Pitbull Terrier. I've been in dogs since before 1990. I've got well over 20 years experience under my belt. And I've created this resource to be the single greatest resource for all of us sporting dog enthusiasts. And I'm going to show you through this tutorial why this should be your number one choice over any other resource online. First of all, in order to understand how this database works, <coughs> it operates off of these navigation tabs. Each one of these takes you to a new section of the database. And along with each of these tabs, comes a set of sub-navigation menu links. When you click home, you'll get these sub-navigation menu links. Let's say if I click blogs, I will get a new set of sub-navigation menu links. If I click pedigrees to enter in dogs, we give you a whole set of sub-navigation menu links that is relative to the section you're entering. So again, just for starters, this is how we operate off of. So if you're browsing through here, you want to check out the videos or you want to check out the pedigrees <clears throat> pay attention to these sub navigation menu links because this is how we operate now then right off the bat let's show an advantage that we have as a pedigree database over everyone else <clears throat> this is the very famous Crenshaw's champion Jeep and this is how our database displays this dog keep in mind all of your dogs can be displayed just like this Let's compare it now to the competition. Peds Online has been a resource for a long time and it's what a lot of people use, but look at how basic it is. You've only got four generations of pedigrees and that's it. You've only got one little bitty picture and that's it. That's all it offers. You can look at the siblings and you can look at the offspring and click here. And worse, if I want to make a link to this, I can't even use the URL up here. I've got to go to this link and click into somewhere else and get a public link. Now let's compare it to this database. First of all, not just one, we've got four pictures and they're much larger. Okay, this is an autographed picture that somebody uploaded. This is Jeep with his owner. You know, this is another picture of Jeep that is famous. And even more importantly, not only can you add four pictures of each of your dogs or any historical dog, you can also add video to it which creates a whole do, uh, new dynamic. Now, I'm not going to sit here and play this whole video of Jeep, but just know that you can add four photos plus a video of all of your dogs. And I'm going to show you how to do so in a separate tutorial. But now let's take a look at the pedigree in and of itself. Now, some people might complain, well, I don't like the dark style. You know, this, this is kind of easier to see, the light style. Okay, you know what our answer to that is? Click here and choose the light style. Okay, no problem. So if you like the light style better, we've got it there for you. So we offer you versatility, whereas you're just stuck with white and the other uh, option. Now then, let's take a look at the pedigree statistics. It shows you how many times each dog is, is in Jeep's pedigree back to four generations. So this pedigree statistic is relative to these four generations. Okay, now Peds Online has four generations also, and you can click to that, but that's where it ends. We, on the other hand, allow you to go back, not just four, five, six, not 10, not 11, 15 generations you can go back. Now, to be honest, if I go back, let's say 10 generations, it's a very ugly pedigree. It's not really very useful at all, except for one important, I mean, here's a 10 generation pedigree on G, all right? It's a super fast database too, so it gets it to you pretty quick. But, uh, you know, it's not visually aesthetic. But the important thing about it is this. Look at here. The pedigree statistics change when you do that. Watch the, how this changes. Okay. You see now your rights in breeding coefficient and your pedigree statistics all change based on the generations. Jeep isn't a really good dog to show this on because he's a straight out cross. So maybe we should take a look at a different dog in Grand Champion Buck. So let's take a look at Buck now. Buck is a line bred dog. He's heavy bolio. So now we're going to show how important the uh, inbreeding coefficient is. We're going to go down here 10 generations 
and we're going to see a lot of changes here. Okay, it ups the rights inbreeding coefficient to 38% and it is 62.5% Indian bolio. So it goes way. So when you're able to go back a lot further in a pedigree, yeah, the pedigree itself is a little ugly, but this information, which is the rights inbreeding coefficient, and there's an explanation to what that is, as well as the pedigree statistics vary substantially. I'm going to go back now to four generations. Okay. <clears throat> Notice it goes down to 28, and then you've got just a little bit here. So with Peds Online, that's what you're stuck with. You just get this little picture of Buck, get a little bit of information, and that's it. You cannot drop down pedigrees. You have no pedigree statistics. You have no rights in breeding coefficient information, just a little bit of information. By contrast, with the Pitbull Bible online APBT database, you get four different pictures of Buck, pictures you may never have seen before. Okay. If you have a video, you can add the video. This it shows a lot of information, a lot of pictures. You can do breedings, test breedings, you get full relatives of Buck, and you get this valuable information here as well that is markedly pinpointed the further back you go and nobody goes back as far as we do nobody offers the photos the video options that we do period so just on pedigree statistics alone we simply blow away the competition now let's take a look at another advantage of the Pitbull Bible online APBT database Peds on who runs Peds online what I do know is that a guy named Marco back in the mid 90s started this database and he was a pretty cool guy. Got nothing against him, got nothing against his work. It was a great idea and it served the community well for a while. Marco put a lot of work into it, so credit to him for that. But now it's run by whom? Forum moderator? He does whatever he wants. He has no accountability. He has no name. He doesn't state who he is. I don't know anything about Peds Online anymore. Okay? With the Pitbull Bible Online APPD database, we tell you who we are, right here. I'm California Jack. You can read all about what I've done, the books I've written, the magazines I've published, the dogs I've created. One of our moderators is Evolution Kennels. He's also been in over 20 years. He's produced one of the greatest dogs in the history of the sport. Evolution Kennels Grand Champion Macho Buck, Dog of the Year, ROM, Grand Champion. And Scratching Dog, she's got one of the most successful confirmation dogs out there, Stone Row Kennels Grand Champion Gate Crasher. He's won just about every title that's to be had in the com uh, confirmation and weight pull uh, world, cover dog, everything. And she's a, a really good source of information on nutrition as well. So here we have, you know, I'm a major, we used to be a major breeder in dogs, the author of the Pitbull Bible a major major uh, breeder in dogs and a great excellent show uh, person in the dog so we are accountable we state who we are and we offer a great environment because of that okay so back to here Peds Online no longer offers a good environment they let anyone of any whoever they are nameless attack people undermine them talk trash on your ads and everything like that we won't allow that here we want a good clean excuse me good clean uh, environment we're accountable for what we say and we stand behind what we say so we offer uh, a better environment there as well because really what we want to do is to become a peer governed peer meaning all of us we're dog men a peer governed registration body and that is why our pedigree statistics are so important and how we do things is so important the way things are done now you register your dogs with the American Dog Breed Association probably or Carl Mims Bonafide or AADR nothing wrong with that they're legitimate businesses but you know what you really have no accountability for the breedings I don't know what these people's dogs look like they send in pieces of paper they send back pieces of paper what does that mean exactly in today's world with trees being de you know the deforestation of our worlds and paper documents paper is becoming uh, the odd man out we are launching a paperless community here with our breedings as well and I'm going to show you how that will clicking to the pedigrees aspect of our uh, database we'll search some breedings and I'll show you how this works <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna look for this breeding here let's say silverback and twilight <clears throat> I've already shown you how the dog pedigree system works this is one of my dogs silverback 
Um, I sold this female to a fellow named J.F. Cole. Mr. Cole sent me back this female. I bred her to silverback for him, and this created a dog, Cole's Magilla Gorilla. Okay, so what we have that nobody else has, we have a dog database for individual dogs, but we also have a breeding database for breedings that have taken place. Okay, so let's see how this works, and you, you'll notice the pup is Cole's Magilla Gorilla. If I click on Silverback's pedigree, I can look at his offspring, same as you can on Peds Online. He's got 33 offspring that I've entered in so far, but I can also look at his breedings. You'll remember that uh, Peds Online offers, you can see the siblings, but we offer a lot more relatives than that. Okay, now, I've got half siblings. These are off of uh, the same female or the same sire as uh, Silverback. He's got aunts and uncles, first cousins. So we've got a lot of different relatives that we show that Peds Online does not show. In fact, nobody else shows that extensive of a relatives, and that can be important when making breeding decisions. You want to breed to a cousin, half-brother, half-sister. Also, again, we show the breedings. Now, you'll notice here that J.F. Cole was the breeder of Silverback to Twilight in one instance. But you know what? Then I bought Twilight back, and I made a breeding. And guess what? That breeding is a different breeding. This was Silverback the next year and that produced two winners uh, 007 and Prime 8. So let's look at one of these dogs here in 007 and let's look at the importance of how we do things. Okay he's tied into the breeding again I'll go back. This breeding produced these puppies. It was done on this date. It produced the pups on this date and by sinking these dogs in when I enter these as dogs I put their birth dates when I enter this breeding, same pedigree, and this birth date, automatically these pups are pulled up. I've accounted for my breeding. And there were only three pups in this litter. The female died. So now let's look at one of those pups in, uh, well, prime ape, okay, let's say. When I look at his relatives, here's what's important. It distinguishes litter mates. This is silverback to twilight, date of birth, 9-11. 2010 and here's the same breeding it's a sibling it's a full brother in Magilla Gorilla same breeding but because the date of birth is different and I'm keeping track of all this stuff it distinguishes litter mates from siblings so what I'm trying to say is basically this the more accurate you as the customers are as the customer are in your record keeping your photographs your date of birth your date of breeding entering in your pups putting in all the information the more incredible this resource becomes and the more valuable it is to the history of this breed, you know, with the how is this really bred and stuff like that, the more meticulous people are in entering their breedings, individual pups, the more accurate this is, way more transparent and better than any other solution that's offered today by the paper world where you don't get to see anything. You can see every breeding that's made with the Pitbull Bible online database. And we also have rules here and they will be enforced so I encourage you to click on this and read the rules because we're not here to talk trash or mess around we're very serious dogmen here and we will nail you if you violate some of the rules so I ask you to please read them on the other hand we also reward you for good uh, conduct amongst uh, the members here as well as in entering in data we have uh, we give away up to six hundred dollars worth of prizes for data entry if you enter ten thousand dogs even if you just do a hundred do dogs, I give you free Nature's Magic product and a free year subscription to the database. But this has contingencies upon it. You can't just put in some dog names and not put date of birth, not put breed or anything. We have some things you must enter to qualify. But you enter a hundred dogs and you get sixty dollars worth of prizes. And this is cumulative. You enter five hundred dogs, you get another Nature's Magic product. My book, The Pitbull Bible, it's a hundred dollar book plus a two year free subscription. You get up to a thousand dog en dogs entered. You get both of my books. On and on it goes. So you want to take a look at this because we have recorded. You know we've got the Platinum Club, and based on who you are, these people have entered a hundred dogs so far. These people have entered five hundred dogs so far. One person just entered in a thousand dogs, and we're still waiting. We're a new registration place, but. You know, you will join these clubs and you will get the perks if you participate constructively, and we encourage you to do that. 
In conclusion, the Pitbull Bible Online APBT database offers many advantages over anybody else. We have the most powerful and versatile engine ever. Uh, we're on our own dedicated server. This isn't off of some cheap Yahoo server or something like this. We're using the same company that Adobe uses, Sony uses, major, major corporations use, and it's totally dedicated to this server. You'll never see a crash. So it's absolutely the fastest uh, server there is, and we have the best and most complicated pedigree system of anybody. We offer Bulldog statistics that nobody else offers. I'm going to show you a different video on that. I encourage you to, to look at it. User statistics, and we give you rewards. You get to display four photos per dog, not just one. That's more than anyone else. Full video of each dog. No one else offers this. We're the only database to separate dogs from breedings. Everybody else, they, they toss in the breedings with the dogs, and that corrupts the statistics and really nobody else can offer you statistics again please watch the statistics video that we've got as well you'll be blown away <coughs> um, again we go up to 15 generations in our pedigree that's more than anyone else we offer more pedigree and inbreeding information including the rights inbreeding coefficient you again you can go dark or light style with just the click of a mouse change your environment nobody else offers this and we have a continuous database of really good articles, basically quotes from my Pitbull Bible, as well as video tutorials that nobody else has. We're also developing a drug index, which is vital. So if you have a drug and you don't know what it is, it'll be in there. And if you don't know what it is and it's not there, just ask about it in the forum. Because we have some of the top, top dogmen here that don't like to be caught up with foolishness, and they offer serious information here. You're also welcome to enter your own blogs. You can publish your own blogs and everything too. And we've just got the best feedback, feedback and follow up anywhere and in a clean, hate free environment. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video in its entirety. I know it was kind of long, but this is an extremely complicated environment here. But once you master it, you will not want to go anywhere else. So after watching this, go grab yourself a drink or something, come back and watch some of the other videos, and we hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you.